What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Um, we're in the garage, and we already got started on the car. So what we did is we replaced the lines that blew on the car the first time. Remember when we started it, and it said, <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> Completely destroyed them. Um, so we replaced them, I and we capped off. I don't even know if you could see it. Look at look at where it, you see that? Looks like an eye. Oh, hold on, I got no focus, no focus. No, oh, there it goes. You see the hole? Yeah, we blew that completely. That's where all the coolant shot out from. So what we did is there's a cap here and then there's a cap on the bottom side as well. And we capped off the the throttle body completely so the throttle body is no longer being fed coolant. And what we did is we just recirculated the lines like was suggested in the first place. <laughs> so we got a new line right here. And what it does is it goes from the water neck up to here back into the thermostat housing and then um, we also replaced this line right here which is the bigger line that was kinking up really bad so I put an even longer slightly bigger line on there it's no longer kinking and it should do the trick so uh, now my dumbass I left the trunk on for like, I mean, the trunk open for like a week and a half. I think it was like two or three weeks. <laughs> it's, been, it's been open for a while. Yeah. So since the last video, the trunk's been open. And uh, the battery died. So now I gotta Charge. jump the car. <laughs> we're gonna jump it and then we're gonna re bleed. We're actually gonna bleed the system this time. Well, it's only if you roll it down the hill because you still jump it. Probably, but I think it's dry. Yeah. So, we're gonna bleed the system. Sahara Desert Dry. Yes, yeah, Sahara Desert Dry. Yeah. All right, guys, so it's been on for about five minutes. You can see it's starting to bubble up a little bit. Um, it's holding temp. She's alive. She's holding temp. We got the heater running. And our lines are holding up so far, you know, knock on wood, but I don't see any leakage. Uh, nope. I don't see any leakage from any of our lines. Well, listen to her. I can hear the baby burbles. Baby burbles, right? Baby burbles. So we're going to hold it here at 2k RPMs for about half hour or so and then uh hopefully fingers crossed she's good to rip we'll see well guys there's a blockage in the line somewhere or in the system somewhere i don't know where but i have a theory i'm theorizing that it's in the um thermostat so i think my thermostat is, getting, is stuck because the uh coolant bypass that we did is not the lines actually warm because the engine bay is warm but it's not warm because there's hot coolant going through it but the other line is hot like there's coolant going through it just like the uh, radiator coolant lines so I think this is a bad thermostat yeah so we went out and bought a thermostat and a new gasket and some more fluid because we spilled a lot, and we're probably going to spill some more. Yeah, we so. spilled a lot. Look, look, look. We spilled a lot. Again. Car threw up. Yeah. Again. And, uh, we're probably going to lose a lot more doing this. But, I'm hoping that's the key to my issue. Because <laughs> I just want to run it. I feel your pain. I mean, I don't, but I do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, guys, I think I'm done for the night just because it's getting dark out. Well, we got shop lights that don't even count. Yeah, sure. It's not even an excuse. The, the thing is, we're chasing gremlins now. Um, I can't figure out, we can't figure out why the hell the car is not taking the, uh, the coolant the way it should why the coolant keeps bubbling up and overflowing the way it is it's bubbling up like if 
something is rejecting it, something's blocking it, like I got a blockage somewhere and it's spinning it out not the way that it would if you normally burp the system. And um, I can't figure out why it's doing that so aggressively. And then two, the fan won't kick on. No matter how hot the temps get, the fan won't kick on. Right, Terry? Yes. So the, the fan is supposed to kick on. Check the relay. Check the relay, check even the swapped it over with another relay. Check the fuses. Everything seems to check out. Um, I can't figure out why the fan won't kick on. I'm gonna upload this video to see if you guys can uh, point me in the right direction and help me just figure out what the hell is going on with the car. Because I want to drive it ASAP and I can't drive it ASAP because it's it's giving me a heating issue now with the coolant. So anything you guys can suggest, put down in the comments below. I'm gonna be reading everyone's comments. Please like, subscribe, just just help us grow and <laughs> help us get the car running. Oh, next video, I'm gonna take a break from the car and it's gonna be an unboxing. I got my seats. A little fucking beautimous. I got my full interior now. Seats, a replacement headliner, harness, harness bars, brackets, hardware, the whole nine. It's coming to you guys. That video for the unboxing will be coming soon, but the install won't be until after the car's up and running correctly. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and like and subscribe. Join us. Get us up there. See you later. Terry hit VTech. I can't. There's a car in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>